What's going on my dudes? One Step here with a quick video showcasing some awesome gears tech that I personally found out the other day and man, I just have to show it off. Take it one step at a time. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and let's get into it. I know a lot of you might be like, One Step, we already saw this from, from Sonic Fox or whatever pro on Twitter. I, I don't care. I found it and I had to show myself and I had to show you guys how cool this is. So I've been using Kung Lao as a cameo. Again, I, I know pros on Twitter have been like, oh yeah, Kung Lao is a great option. I, I like him for the projectile combo extension, teleport, the mobility that he offers to Garrus as a character. I like using Motara for the same reasons, but I like Kung Lao a bit better. But anyways, the tech that I want to show off is really dealing with uh, Gears' back forward one, this time stop move. Not me to burn, it's just a move. So you can do that in a combo if you want to. And you do 140, that's great. You can do it in a, you know, a longer combo. So if we want to do a little bit of a longer one, we can do that. And just like, you know, do that by itself. That's great. But then for those that know, if you meet a burn it, you kind of just get a free combo off. And like what happens here is whatever move you did last while the time is stopped will then be the reaction that happens one time is like replayed at that point. But the cool part is, is Kung Lao offers a teleport with his normal cameo. Well, I'm gonna slow it down for you because during a back forward of one, Garrus pops up on the other side, basically kind of like reforms on the other side of your opponent. During that reforming, you can teleport port and in doing so you're not actually hitting your opponent out of that time stop so they're stuck in the time stop and you're not using a meter burn to do this so here's how that looks So you see right there, we teleported on the other side of our opponent, did two in the air, then down two when we landed, and they got the reaction from the down two. We can continue the combo from there, which is cool. So we're not actually using a meter. We're using a cameo meter, but we're not actually using a meter. Now, the timing on that is pretty pretty tight. It's pretty specific. You have to be very tight on your timing when teleporting. Because if you teleport too early, you're not gonna actually do anything. If you teleport too late, you're gonna hit them, and then you wasted a teleport. You have to teleport right when Gary starts to reform on the other side of the opponent. And I recommend holding the teleport because then you're gonna like go a little bit higher from the teleport, be able to do down two in the air, kind of like, you know, do your belly flop in the air and then land down two again and do the uppercut. They're gonna fly once time is played again and you're able to go from there and do whatever combo you want. That's the tech and that's how cool it is. I'll show you again, uh, down four to one. Tell, see, we're too late, we're too late on that. So we did too late. See the timing is a bit tighter on that. There we go. Then we can jump and then go from there and do our combo from that way. Now, the one thing you have to know about doing this tech is technically speaking, you are meter burning the move in the game's eyes. So if you do do the teleport, you might think, oh, then in my combo, I can do my meter burn version of it later in the same combo. Uh, no, you actually can't. The game recognizes that as like you did a meter burn time stop. It's not gonna let you meter burn it later in the same combo to then time stop again. It doesn't allow you to do that. It recognizes it as a meter burned time stop move, which is kind of interesting. So with that being said, I wouldn't really use it if you have meter, because if you have meter, you, you can do a lot more and you do more damage. Like right there, I mean, I messed up, but that was 240. That's way more than we were doing with the cameo teleport tech. The cameo teleport tech on your back forward one, not meter burn, is really only useful if you don't have any meter to use it with and you, all you have is cameo, which which can be good in you know certain situations. But I'll show you what a full combo might look like from the tech here. So right there, 214 damages, that was pretty dang good based off the spacing and the timing that we have from them falling in the air and what we could do off of that and you know, saving our meter, assuming we don't have any meter, that's a good option, it gives us a counter. 215 damage, that's pretty dang good. But if we were to meter burn off the same move and we just did two uppercuts here, and just did that, that's 280 damage. So I mean, if you have the actual super meter to use, you might as well use it, you're gonna do more damage, it does the same thing. Yeah, I'm really only using that tech if I have no meter. And the last note about this tech you wanna know is it does not work if you do it while your opponent is in the air. So that's why I do two one, it's an overhead and it does it, then I can teleport from them being on the ground. Garrus has to kind of reform and teleport while on the ground. If you do it while your opponent's in the air, Garrus will fall from the sky and you, you can't you're gonna it's not it's not gonna work if we if you do it on that point like i'll show you how that looks so we do this right 
So we fall from the sky. You're not gonna grab the teleport from that. So it really only works if you do it from the ground. See how we kind of reformed and teleport on their side? on the ground then we know we can teleport so keep that in mind with this tech it's really interesting and really cool but it's really only going to work if you do it with your opponent on the ground and it's really only worth if you have no super meter to actually meet or burn that move with keep in mind that same tech is doable if you use motaro as well we can just teleport from that side and then go from there do our thing so it does work with motaro as a cameo as well using the teleport during that same time frame so if you're a motaro cameo user you can still use this tech there's a lot more to garris i just want to make a quick video regarding this exact tech let me know your thoughts down below on this do you like do you do you think it's worth it using the teleport for the tech what cameo do you use when you play garris let me know your thoughts down below subscribe here for more mortal kombat content and take it one step at a time